Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. This is an unexpected video. I was just gonna put my makeup on and hit the streets. I said everything is content. That's what another YouTuber says all the time. Okay, so I put on some concealer under these dark suitcases. So now uh, I'm going to cover up a couple moles and blemishes with the concealer. And I'm putting on my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Two pumps usually does it for me. It's in the color Amber Honey. Okay, I feel some hair flying. I don't know what wig this is. Yaki textured half wick. I'm wearing it with my headband turned backwards. It's not supposed to go in the back, but who said it's not supposed to go in the back? I like it like this. So somebody here? I thought I heard a car too. Oh, well, she's here then. She's back. Yesterday, Walter was out with his best friend, um, Bert. Y'all have seen Bert on several of my videos. And Walter grew up with him, went to school together. He stood up for him as best man at our wedding. And me, Walter, Bert, and Deborah, that's his wife, we used to go out before any of us were married. We used to all go out together, double date. And yesterday, Deborah came. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've seen her in over 40 years. She looks good, y'all. She may be maybe a couple years older than me. She looked good, y'all. For real, for real. Oh my goodness. Had her hair in a cute hairstyle. And I don't think she had no makeup on, so that was all natural. And that was the day that I didn't film nothing. I didn't put on no makeup. I didn't do nothing. Well, I did uh, perform grandma duties watch my, my grandbaby so I was just sliding around the house you know and they told me Deborah's out in the car she wanted to see you I said ah oh, and I look worse than ever today <laughs> so I was so glad to see her I got to talk about. Oh. I just watched somebody's video. Hi. How was it? Okay. They were showing that um, they have a new ninja wood fire grill they're taking orders because it's not officially out yet ninja wood fire grill i think that's the name of it. anyway it looks like the ninja foodie extra large grill but only it has a little side pocket where you can put pellets you know wood pellets that can smoke and they said it you can uh, use it outside it's for outside and if you want to buy a stand for it, that's extra. But the basic grill is about $330. And it's nice, y'all. For people who live in apartment buildings and they're not allowed to smoke food or barbecue food on their balconies, you can do it with that because it's electric. So it's nice, really nice. So, 
You know how I don't like to uh, smoke chicken with skin on it. Because, you know, I'm my electric smoker. Because the skin gets slimy. And uh, so it's a two step process when you do that. My baby sleep. So you usually have to, I usually have to smoke it and then put it in the air fryer. So sometimes I don't want to do all that. So with that, everything is already in the smoker air fryer. So that particular smoker does everything a regular air fryer would do. Plus it smokes. So you can buy a little cover for it to keep it outside, but it's made for outside. Don't bring that in your house if you're going to be smoking with it. Because I think that smoke will get in your house. Unlike, unlike the smokers that I have. That I use for the house. That I love. So. Like I said, it's mainly for people who can't barbecue. On their patios or decks or apartment building balconies. But it's very nice. Ninja is on the ball. So I'm waiting for Doug to get it and review it. Y'all know cooking with Doug. Okay. Still see the, the bags. Can't nothing make them go away. I mean, some sleep. <laughs> Let me show y'all something I got to go with my my fizzy thing, my soda string fizzy bottles. I always put this on. It's old, it's getting sticky and messy. I don't know why I haven't bought it anymore. Yes, I do. I need to use up all this stuff I got. I don't look like folks until I put some color on my face. My lip color and my cheek color. Uh, my brush. And I need some eye color, eyeshadow. And I tones it way down, y'all. I'm gonna go out the house looking like this. Get on purple today. I'm not pulling out a palette. Nope. I think I'll just use this little palette. See, I got all these eyeshadow palettes. And I don't use everything I got, so I need to stop buying stuff. But I see something new come out, and I got to have it. I keep feeling hair. these brows. Okay, I don't like this feeling. There was a strand of hair kept blowing in my face. I don't like that. Okay, I'm putting the light color up here. So I guess this is a chit chat, get ready with me video. I got a taste for some good spaghetti. Of course it got to have meat in it. And I want some catfish. Even though my spaghetti is going to be a meal in itself. So I'm not sure if I'm going to air fry catfish or not. And crispy breaded catfish. I like breading on my catfish. Yeah, I cooked it the other way. I prefer breading. Now, I can deal with uh, naked chicken, baked chicken, grilled chicken. Catfish, it got to be breaded and air fried. Or deep fried, which I don't do anymore. Yeah, we used to deep fry. 
and that fried smell would stay in the house for days because it gets all in the curtains, gets in the furniture, gets in your hair. I'm putting this taupe color on the lid. I always extend it. So I like to wear a light color shadow on my lid when I'm going to put on some lashes because it makes the lashes pop against this light color. There go this hair again. Oh, that's my hair. I'm about to snatch it. It hurt. <laughs> my. So I want some good old spaghetti. And y'all know I cook my spaghetti using chunky salsa. You know what you use for nachos? Buy the jars of salsa at uh, Aldi and get the medium salsa. That way I don't have to chop up no onions, no bell peppers, no jalapenos, no none of that because it's all in the salsa. And it's good. And my spaghetti does not taste like tacos or nachos or nothing. It's just good. Okay, I'm going to put the dark color on the corners of my eyes, right here, right there, I like a little smoky look, and I outline the eye, like that. I don't know why I do that. It comes natural, I just do it. It's like some people, when they fool with the eyes, they got their mouth open. But I train myself not to do that. It look crazy as I don't know what, but it happens. People do, do it all the time, like a natural reaction. I'm looking over here at my mirror. So that's what I'm looking at. I need more smokiness right on this corner. Okay, that's good. And where's that eraser? I mean my blender. Blend it. Blend the light color. Then I go for the smoky color. As good as she gets. Okay. Need some liner. Then I work on these eyebrows. Like a wing. Okay, the other one. Sometimes my hand ain't that steady and I have all kind of lines on my eyes. That's okay. I ain't trying to win no beauty contest. As good as she gets. I use the marker type liner. Uh, what I need? Eyebrows. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow, this dark eyeshadow, on my eyebrows. I'm gonna use a stencil. I really got good at freehanding my brows. I don't need no stencil. Come on. Use this skinny brush. The other end of my spoolie. 
outline my eyebrows like that make the arch and go down and then fill it in and each eyebrow looks different completely different not that dark gotta get the other one gotta build this one up because this eyebrow is lower than the other one and the thick part is longer than this one and it don't have a tail Outline in it, making the arch, making the tail. Well, I'm doing better than my mama. She didn't have any eyebrows, none, and very scarce eyelashes. I think I told y'all before what she used to do. She put on makeup. They didn't have all that stuff out like they got now or at least poor black folks couldn't afford it. I'll put it that way. Anyway, she used to light a match. Light a match, let it cool, and then she used the, what you call it, the char off the end of the match and draw her some eyebrows. It worked. She didn't have no powder to put on her face. You know what she did? She used uh, flour, which you bake bread with. Put it in the oven, put it on a baking sheet or foil or something in the oven, let it get as brown as she wanted. That was her powder. And she used famous red sponge and pat that on her face. And she did have lipstick. But yeah, I used to love when the older people would sit around and talk about the good old days. They didn't have much, but they had a good time. They survived. They made it. They paved the way for us. They got everything and ain't grateful. Some of these kids, they got so much stuff and still want, want this, want that. Got the lips poked up. See, I can't never get them to look in the same, but that's okay. Like I said, I ain't trying to win no beauty contest. Okay, what I need. My real lipstick. I always put a lipstick on top of what I wear. I would like some red, but this is the first one I picked up, so I'm put on this deep, what is this, burgundy. Make sure it don't get on my teeth. Um, uh, some eyelashes. Okay. I need some powder on to finish my face. I'm using this black radiant soft focus finishing powder. Comes in this nice big palette. Let me use a brush, fluffy brush. Okay, I'm getting ready to put on my Foscara Lash Clusters. The box looks like this. Foscara. It's by Kiss. I got this from Amazon, but they sell these everywhere. And I got the, here the lashes. That's what they look like. And these kind of tweezers I use. 
This is another brand. So I always use an alcohol pad to get the glue off my tweezers. Because the glue will stick on it. And then you think it's on your eye? No, it's stuck to the tweezers. So these have mediums and short. And I only got one long one. And I had a long one to blow somewhere in here. I haven't found it. You know where it is. So I'll just be using two mediums for each eye and a short one for each eye. So here's the adhesive I'm using. Use any lash cluster adhesive. Now you don't use what you use for your strip lashes. So I put this up under the lash line. Under there. And I don't go all the way to the the end of my eyelashes because I don't want to feel nothing. So I'm picking up a medium lash cluster. Where is it? Right there. Like that. And then under here. Lay it there and uh, pat it in place. And I get the glue off of this. I use both ends of this, the tweezers. And I apply adhesive to each lash. I don't just do the whole lash line. Because if I have to reapply it, then it'll get clumpy. It might dry before, you know, I'm ready to put the lash on. So, pick up the next one. Pick up a short one. Clean the nest again. Applying some more. It looks like a little spoolie. You can get this with the white adhesive too, but I don't. This kind of looks like uh, mascara when you put it on. Picking up a short lash cluster, but it looks the same length as the medium. Let me see. It's a little shorter. Okay. Oops. Now I'm going to mash these lashes. some unblended makeup. I don't like that look. These things are cute. Uh, I have to use this clear stuff. It's called Clear Coat put this on to keep the lashes from being tacky when you blink but well, I don't feel anything but I'm put it on here anyway up under the lash okay and you don't feel these these are feather light you don't feel them okay see that see the difference in my eyes 
I'm going to go off camera and put the other eye on. Okay, I want to thank you all for getting ready with me. There's my eyelashes. They're not too much. They're just enough for me. I don't like that. Reach out and touch somebody. Look. They look good on some people, but I can't do it. I tried it. And not for me. So. And I'm going to do the outfit of the day. I have on a purple tie that top. You got a little black chiffon. Do that to the end of it. I got on some black jean uh, capris. Oh, I promised to show y'all something. Okay, y'all know I recently got a soda string thingamajig. Okay, for my birthday. Okay. And I started drinking out of my bottles. I used to didn't drink out of them just in case somebody else wanted some. But Walter don't want none. Amber don't want none. And nobody else want none. So that's the bottle they come with. I already got some stuff in here. And when I started drinking out of the bottle and setting the bottle on the table, it was sweat like mad. You can see the condensation up here. See that? Just took this out the fridge and it leave a, a ring on my table so look what I got y'all I bought this for it um, a cup cozy or canned cozy I didn't need this many but it was like what $7.99 for all these so I needed at least two these not only stopped the condensation from getting on my table. I don't have no coasters no more. But it keeps the drink colder, you know? Even though it got this little black bottom, this keeps it kind of much colder. So it comes in all colors. This is how they made. So you just squeeze your bottle on there and it fits. It's nicely. They're made for beer cans and stuff like that. I said, I believe that would fit, and it does. So, and I know that my sister in the Lord, my YouTube sister, Lynette Longmire, she got her a uh, soda string. So, Lynette, tell me what color you want. There ain't no purple in here, else I just automatically send you a couple. And how many bottles you got? I don't know if you got two or three bottles. So I got orange, navy, red, yellow, green. There's a black in here too. That black. Well, you see the colors. Okay. And I will send you a couple or a few, depending on how many bottles you got. Okay. So I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. I got to get out of here and go shopping, cook. And then me and the girls are going to see Beast with Idris Alba. I like him. So I hope it's a good movie. Okay. Bye, y'all. Be blessed.